Hey guys, my name's Jerry and you're watching 3D HP. I've got another resin video today. We're printing with 3D RS Fast White 3D resin solutions. Let's go over to the website and I'll show you what they got. Okay, here's their website right here. They've got free shipping on domestic orders over $100. And if you, of course, if you buy in large volumes, you get discounts. There's sponsorship available. You would have to contact them regarding it. But it's made in the USA, and when you buy resin from them, you're able to download and print their uh, free model here. And that looks like an Uncle Jesse video, possibly not sure. But yeah, um, they've got the Hero, they've got the Fast White, and the Cool Gray. I've ordered my prior videos with the Cool Gray, and today I'll be printing with the White. And of course, they got links for the route on social media. And 3D resin, uh, the 3D resins, they got NSLA for standard, fast hero, hero tough, engineering resin, 3D RS color base, gasket, seal, and O-rings, 3D RS mud. And I think that 3D RS mud is a blend of leftover stuff they have. They bottle it up and they show you, sell you at a discounted rate, I think. But yeah, it talks about recommended settings for different printers. For the Elgu Mars, Anticubic Photon, the Corality, the Frozen Sonic Mini, and the Mars 2 Pro Mono. And depending on which resin, they have different settings. Um, I currently have ordered an Anticubic Mono X, which should be here in another four or five days. And I'll be able to put that up head-to-head -head against my Frozen Mighty 4K that I currently own. And then, of course, I have an original Elgu Mars. And they're always adding more settings. But there's lots of information here. If you're not sure of something for a setting for a printer, you can always contact them. They can give you recommendations. But let's jump over to Sanix's page real quick and uh, take a look at some goodies. I will show you my print settings, what I'm going to do in Cheetah Box, and then we'll get to printing. And here we are at uh, Malik's 3D Designs website. You can buy models individually, or you can join his Patreon if you'd like to get some really cool stuff and save some money. And here is uh, Captain America Bust. And uh, he's got different scales here, and it tells how tall they are. You can download whatever you choose. You buy the file, you download what you choose to download. You can get pre-supported and unsupported and do what you want. This is not the one I'm printing, but I will be printing this. This is the Bust right here where he's on top of his uh, base. And beautiful work here, awesome designs, very beautiful work. And here's the models here that come pre-supported. Based on what scale you want, they're either pre-supported or they're not. It all depends. And here we got Legend Captain America by Sanix on the build plate, 1 8 scale. I'm going to go ahead and print everything at once. I should be perfectly fine. You know, you see there, I've uh, angled the base. Um, I've hollowed uh, the base at 3 millimeters thick. I've hollowed the legs and the chest at 3 millimeters thick. The head is small. I'm going to go ahead and leave both heads solid. And, of course, the shield will be solid. And one setting I went and changed this time. I went into settings. You pull it up on the screen there so you can see it. I've changed my exposure time up to five seconds. And you can see all my layers here at five millimeters. Layer height at 0 0.05 millimeters. And exposure time is five seconds. Kicked up from three. And I think that's going to solve my support problems. Because different resins react differently. And uh, they're, not all the, they're not all the same in the way they react. So... I've talked to a few people that have some large format printers, my friend Trevor, and he thinks if I kick it up to five seconds, it should be fine. And 3D RS also believes uh, five seconds would be good. So now all I got to do is slice it. So uh, I'll, also, I hauled everything. Let's see. I used five millimeter holes. I went around with five millimeter and five millimeter and three millimeter and added holes here. That way, it can drain properly, won't be full of resin. You can see them there on the bottom. If I drag down the slider, you'll see that they're hollow. And then the heads and the shield are solid. That's why they're all black. And then we'll go ahead and we're going to tag everything in Cheetah Box. 
Come over here to supports. I'm going to go with medium supports. They should be fine. My density at C is at 50%. Um, contact death is at 0 0.50. And I believe that's going to be good. Let me go ahead and get the done processing here. And then we'll add some supports to it and see how it comes out. This is my prior video. You'll see I had problems with uh, everything was attached until the build plate perfectly fine. The supports were there, but some of the parts and the models were missing. So by having a longer exposure time to five seconds from three, that should solve the problem. Okay, that's done processing. Let's go ahead and click all. And then it's going to run around. I'm using automatic supports. Let's see how it looks. All the red areas where the supports are and the dots are where the supports are there. So, yeah, I think it's going to be good. Shouldn't be any issues with that whatsoever. So, and once again, and yes, when you do hollow, you have internal supports. The only way to avoid that, which I highly don't recommend, would be if you go in and you add supports first. You go back to your first page, you come up here to the top, and then you haul whichever model you, whichever part you choose. But a lot of models, depending on how they're designed, require internal supports. That way there's islands not out in the middle of nowhere. For instance, down in here, you'd have an issue with that. Uh, down there in the bottom of that key, you have to have supports there because that would fail. So it's always best to add to your supports, haul everything before you go to your support page and add your supports. So, and there's the size of my uh, Frozen Mighty 4K there. Let's go ahead and slice it. Alrighty, I've cleaned out the other resin. Everything's all good to go. I use uh, Rain-X on my FEP. I take a blue shop towel. I wipe it out really good. It helps make a little bit slicker to get rid of that irritating popping sound that you have on your layers. Rain-X, in my opinion, works great. I used to use PTF 3-in-1 PTF e-lube. On my Elegoo Mars, until I discovered Rain-X from a few friends of mine, I love this stuff. Alrighty, take your 3D RS Fast White, give it a good shake. Be sure you always wear gloves and safety glasses. Sure, you may not spill it, may not get it on you, but you know, you never know. It's white like paint. It's very thick. Take it up just a little bit past halfway. Not too far like I did last week. I overfilled it and almost ran out. So I think that'll be good. And it looks pretty good. Make sure we don't have any running down the outside. Yep, looks fine. Okay, let's put the cover on. We'll start the print. And when I get a time lapse program here, I'm Need to get a hold of uh, a couple people and uh, see what they got. But anyway, I've already got it on the SD card. Let's hit print. Let me find the file, which is right there. That's it. Hit go. That's it. Well, let's see what we got. Yeah, we got failures. Yeah, lost the one leg, and I lost the shield, and another part up front, so I lost at least three of the parts. Mm. Oh yeah, I lost one of the heads, so I've got one of the two heads. So I need to reprint a head. His legs, as you can see, his foot's clear up there at his crotch. So I lost that. I lost his shield. So I got to redo the legs, one head, and the shield. Crazy. So you get these cleaned up, and I'll uh, re-slice those parts. I guess I'll go dense. Really increase my density on my supports. So that plenty on it. But I'll increase the density and get to reprinting. This removal is easy enough. I just slide my thumb underneath it and basically pull them all off. Be 
in the trash can close by, throw them in. Yeah, okay. And the quality is nice other than it's one leg short. I guess I could send this to Tripod. Print up the model, send it to my friend Tripod. He might like, like that. <laughs> I have to take the foot off though. So anyway, if you're watching Tripod, I'm just kidding. So. You know, having all these failures is really driving me crazy. I feel like pulling my hair out. But I'm bald. I can't pull my hair out. But there is one thing I can do. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> wow. Oh, and I didn't have to wax. <laughs> now, maybe I won't have any more print failures. That would be really awesome, right? Anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. So, this is my normal me. And my wife's like, hey, grow a beard. It looks cool. Yeah, I look older, too. So, Santa Claus is gone for now. Maybe when it gets colder out. Back to the video. Awesome, it's done. Let's see what we got here. I increased my dent support layers and it looks like that solved the issue, I hope. Alrighty, shield came out good, the head came out good, and the waist came out good, the legs. Very cool. Alright, you can pop them off the build plate. Ports coming off real easy. Shield looks nice. Looks like I got a couple of layer lines in the possible. I'm not after I clean that up. See his head's good. Throw them in my main grain, clean them up, and then they'll go to IPA. And once they're done with the IPA, I'll let them dry out 100 percent Once they're completely dry, then I can go ahead and uh, UV cure them. So, yeah, no problem removing the supports, pretty cool. Well, expose your time to five seconds, I increase the density, and, well, I wanted to say it was perfect, but it looks like part of the, well, uh, I think we're good. It pulled off the supports. Looks like it finished. We'll have to wait and see. But the little uh, spawn chibi from Dennis Moore 3D Figure Prints. Looks like it came out good. The wrap did pull off. The supports pulled off the base a little bit, but I don't know. Might be fine. Looks like it's gonna be fine. Alrighty. Well, I had a failure, but I got it fixed out. Chibi spawn came out great. This is the test print for Dennis Moore over at 3D Figure Print. And uh yeah, came out really good. I've got everything glued together, but the head and the back cape is not glued on, so I'm able to paint it. I have to prime it, and then a lot of that's going to be hand-painted, but I need to get down in the nooks and crannies, so I didn't want to pre-glue the head. And then Captain America here by Sanix, I've got him all done. His body is glued together. He's just standing on the base. His uh, shield is not mounted down. His heads, they're interchangeable. So, then here's a little cape here that goes on a little chibi spawn. I'll throw a picture up here on the screen uh, where Chibi Spawn comes from so you can see a render of it. But yeah, the both things came out great. Third time's a charm. And, you know, I lost a little hair in the process, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, 3DRS white, uh, 3DRS fast white resin. It's really thick like white glue. But once you tweak your settings and get your settings right for whatever particular printer you're printing on, you should have no issues whatsoever. 
obviously I had issues. I had, you know, on a couple different, two different bottles of the resin I've tried so far. I had this issue, issue or that issue, and I'm just trying to work the bugs out to get the settings right. And I've got one more bottle than the test, and there's a discount code right here, and it'll be down below in the description if you'd like to check them out. If you'd like to find out where this model came from, from Sanix, or the Chibi came from, from Dennismore, that'll be down in the description below. So, thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, and, you know, what else can I talk about? Hmm. Let's see. My Etsy store. 3D HP. I forget the name of the store. Anyway, I've got a sale over on Etsy for the next 30 days. I've got most of my stuff 25% off. If you'd like to go check it out, just go to Etsy and type in 3D HP, and that'll get you there. It is, there is a longer name to it. I can't remember it right now. But, yeah, I've got some stuff for sale, some things I need to buy, so I need to sell some models. Uh, so, everybody have a great day. And I've got one more bottle to test from 3DRS, and that video will be coming out soon. I've got many different projects I'm working on. So, thank if you stuck around this long, thank you very much, and happy resin printing.